Hello, everyone. I am Chao Chuan. Let's get to know Da Yun the Yangchuanosaurus and Xiao Bei the Chinkingosaurus. Here, it displays a diorama of these two animals fighting. Yangchuanosaurus was a large carnivorous dinosaur that lived in the late Jurassic Sichuan Basin. Its body length could reach 8 meters. This model was restored based on the famous species Yenchuanosaurus shanuensis. The specimen of Yenchuanosaurus shanuensis can reach 8 meters long, which is relatively large. Yenchuanosaurus had the typical physical appearance of carnivorous dinosaurs. Its hind limbs were rather long, and its forelimbs were small. Although no forelimb fossils of Yenchuanosaurus have been found, we can still infer its size according to the complete forelimb fossils of Sichuanosaurus, its close relative. It probably had three fingers and was sized closely to those of Allosaurus. They were unlike those vestigial, small ones of Tyrannosaurus rex. It had a relatively robust neck and thick head, and its head looked similar to Allosaurus in general. Yenchuanosaurus and Allosaurus belonged to the same major taxon, but Yenchuanosaurus still had some features that differed from Allosaurus. For example, its lacrimal horns were not as developed and large as those of Allosaurus. However, looking at it from the front, you can see that the bulges in front of its eyes are thicker. The top of its head was narrower, unlike Allosaurus, which had a wider top. Its overall head appeared thicker and rounder than Allosaurus, a bit like the later Abelisaurids such as Majungasaurus or Carnotaurus, but not that exaggerated. Its head was a bit short, tall, and relatively stout. This time, we adopted a lipped restoration. After it closes its mouth, its teeth will be completely wrapped by lip-like structures on both sides, similar to a lizard. Because Yenchuanosaurus preserved a complete skull fossil, there are gaps between the upper and lower teeth in the naturally preserved state so similar soft tissue structures might exist to keep its mouth airtight. It had small eyes. Although its eyes were not small, when viewed from the skull, we speculate that a sclerotic ring was inside its orbit when alive. The size of its eyes was the same as that of the inner diameter of the sclerotic ring. So, when we restored it, we made its eyes relatively small. Its nostrils were designed at a lower position, as a large carnivore, its body would require sufficient oxygen, so the nostrils were shaped larger. Currently, although no skin evidence of Yenchuanosaurus has been found, according to Allosaurus, we know that most of its body should have relatively small scales, maybe like some other dinosaurs, with some larger scales mixed in, just as the appearance shown in this model. We made a series of spikes on its back, albeit they were not found on the Yenchuanosaurus. However, the fossils show that the dorsal side of Yenchuanosaurus vertebrae, that is, the dorsal side of the neural spines, is relatively rough. It is speculated that this part may have been connected to spike-like structures during its lifetime. This spike-like structure is quite common among dinosaurs. The familiar Stegosaurus, the carnivorous dinosaurs such as Ceratosaurus, Carnotaurus, and even some sauropods or hadrosaurids all have this structure on their backs. Therefore, we also restored a similar structure on it. Next, let's take a look at Xiao Bei the Chinkingosaurus. Chinkingosaurus was a small stegosaurian. Judging from the known specimens, the body length of this dinosaur may not exceed 4 meters, about half the length of the 8 meter long Yanchuanosaurus. Although the body length is half the difference, their body shape difference is more than that. Chinkingosaurus appeared much smaller. The collected fossil of Chinkingosaurus is mainly about its head, so we know it had a broad, long, triangular head resembling other stegosaurians. A series of bony plates on its body have also been found, but only partially. Most bony plates are the nearly triangular ones that were located on the front half of its body, and several sharp, long spikes on its tail. Based on some limb bones found on Chinkingosaurus, we can speculate that this dinosaur had a relatively small body and was flexible. Although its legs were not long, its body looked quite slim, and it was an elegant animal. 
Four pairs of spikes were found near the end of its tail, that is, eight spikes. However, these eight spikes were not at the endmost of the tail, but near this section. Several theories exist about how the bony plates were arranged on this dinosaur's body. Either it was like Stegosaurus, with triangular bony plates on its body, and more than eight long spikes on its tail. Or, it might be like Kentrosaurus, with triangular bony plates at the front half of the body, which then became narrower and narrower, transitioning into spikes on the tail. This model was restored by adopting the latter theory, mainly because the eight spikes may be located near the middle section, not at the endmost of the tail. So, these spikes might occupy a long section of the tail instead of resembling Stegosaurus, which had four separate spikes at the endmost of its tail. We also made it two spines at its shoulders, albeit there is no fossil evidence for them. As some other closely related animals at the same time and place, such as Twojuangosaurus and Gigantspinosaurus, all had a similar structure, we also reconstructed two shoulder spines for it. For its skin, we adopted the typical restoration for Stegosaurians, that is, the body was covered with delicate scales mixed with some large ones. The difference is that we also made these large scutes. Considering that Chinkingosaurus was a relatively primitive species, these large scales on its body might be closer to ankylosaurs, a bit like Skeletosaurus. Since no skin was found, we can make a bold guess to shape it into such an armor structure, a makeup for its small size. This model shows these two animals chasing each other in a muddy scene. The above is the building story of Da Yun the Yangchuanosaurus and Xiaobei the Chunkingosaurus. Thank you all.